Hey guys, we're back. Fred here at Bathman Engineering, and we are finishing up this bending moment diagram, so let's get right into it. In the last video, we solved for these equations here, okay, for the first and second part of the beam, and now we're going to use these equations to draw the, the diagram itself. So let's start with the easy one, which is the first section, okay? That's the shear. So we're going to start with the shear uh, from A to B, all right? And as we can see here, the shear is not variable. The shear is not varying with, with distance. The shear is constant. Okay, so what that means is it's just going to be a straight line. Okay, because this axis here, okay, that's, that's distance. Okay, and this up and down, that's shear. So let me indicate that for you here. So this is going to be V in kilonewton, okay, for the Y axis here. And this is going to be M in kilonewton meters, okay? And this is distance. So as, di as we move down the beam, okay, the shear for this section is going to be the same, all right? So we just go ahead and draw a line across like that, okay? And we'll give that a plus, give that some nice lines there, and that is going to be our first section for shear, okay? So let's look at the second section between sections, or between two and three of the beam, and let's look at the shear for that, okay? So we have this equation here, and the first thing you might notice is there's an X in this, okay? So what that means is that what that means is that the shear is linearly either increasing or decreasing depending on the equation, but it's not the same, it's changing, okay? And as we can see, it is changing because there's a distributed load here, right? So because it's to the, just the x to the power of one, it's gonna be a linear distribution, okay? And how we can know where to start and finish this, okay, is we'll go ahead and we'll plug in kind of our boundary conditions of the section, okay, and that will give us our start point and our end point, because as you remember from, from early math class, you need two points to draw a line, right? So what's our first point? Well, if we go ahead and we sub in two here, okay, we should get, and let me just write this here for you, okay, so this is 0 0.250, okay, we should get 0 0.250, all right? Go ahead and plug in two for x, now, if we plug in three for x, we should end up getting negative one, one point two five, okay, kilonewtons. Now, we have these two points, and all we're gonna do is go ahead and connect them. And that, it's as easy as that, that's our first section of the beam, okay, for our shear force. Now, sorry, that's supposed to be a negative, okay. So, well, how do we draw the moment diagram? So before we do that, we need to take a look at what's called the point of zero shear, okay? Because what, where the, the point of zero shear exists is where the maximum moment usually exists. Sometimes there's more than one point of zero shear, and you have to check both. But in this case, there's only one, okay? And that's when the shear passes through the, the x-axis, okay? So there's zero shear at this point. So you might be asking, well, how do we solve for this? How do we know exactly where this is? This is somewhere in the middle of the beam and we just, we, we're not too sure. Well, that's pretty simple. Is all we need to do is go to whichever section that the point of zero shear exists in, go to the shear force formula, okay, and equal it to zero, all right? And if we solve for x, that x will be our, our point of zero shear, okay, where, where it occurs. So if we just take this down here, okay, and we say 3.25, minus 1.5 x equals zero, and we just go ahead and solve for x, you should see that x is equal to 2.167 meters, okay? So what that means is that the point of zero shear acts 2.167 meters from the origin, or from the, from the, our start point, okay? So this is, we're gonna say that this is 2.167, okay? Meters at this point, all right? And, Okay, so we're gonna need that information when we get to that part. All right, let's start with here. Point here, sorry, that's supposed to be an X. Excuse me. So, the moment here, all right, is 0.250X, that's our formula, okay? And as we can see, same as this one, it's the moment is increasing linearly as we move from point A to B, okay? and it's gonna be increasing positively, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and plug in zero for x, okay? And that is obviously zero, so that's gonna be our start point. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in two for x, okay? And that is going to give us 0 0.5, okay? And that is, we'll just assume that to be there. And we'll go ahead and draw a line connecting those two.
Okay. That's that part of our beam. Okay. Now let's go ahead over to section two and three and we'll take a look at what we've got there. Okay. So this is where the point of zero shear comes in to play. Okay. Is that's going to be, we know this is going to be a parabolic shape. Okay. We know it's going to make a parabola. All right but we don't know exactly where that peak point is, okay? And that's gonna be a question that is gonna be asked to you on the, on the test for sure. And what, all we need to do is take this 2.167 and plug it into uh, this formula here, okay? And you should end up with a value of 0 0.521, all right? And that is our maximum moment, okay? And it's positive. So if we plug in two and we plug in three, okay? And we draw those points, you should get 0.5 and you should get zero, okay? And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw that parabola and we're gonna connect all our points like that, all right? And I'll just draw that in color so we can see it. And that's it. Simple as that. You don't have to draw those lines, guys, so I just like to do it because it looks nice. And that's where we are right now, okay? So we drew the shear force diagram, we drew the bending moment diagram and we are done with this question thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to post below or send us an email give us a like or a subscribe if you enjoy our videos and thanks for watching